you turn the music down, Lewis? Yeah, with, with pleasure. What do you think you're doing? In fact, better still unplug it. You're the boss. Right. I've been warned. I'm calling the police. Kylie, hang on. Grant, you know full well you're not allowed to step foot in here. I think you'll find I am, David. What's this? It's a letter from my solicitor saying that I am taking you to court. I'm sorry? Oh, you heard. Look, I'm putting an end to this farce once and for all. You are under a harassment order. Which is trumped by an interim injunction. It's all there in black and white. I don't get what this means. Well, it means, David, that you cannot exclude me from these premises anymore, nor do anything that would deem to affect or damage the business, my business. And a good example of that was that music you could hear blaring out two streets away. Really sorry about this, Mrs oh. Hilton. We don't have to listen to this. Just belt up a minute, Carly. It says here that I forced you to sign this salon over to me. Are you for real? You misrepresented your intentions to her. It's the same thing. That is total rubbish. Yes, well, tell that to the judge. Look at all these cancellations. Mrs. Barker, Mrs. Chamberlain, Mrs. Jacobs. Oh, God, it's a mass exodus. Tell me about it. Brought in new clients. Yes, and driven away all the old ones. Old being the operative word. You still here? He doesn't say out in this letter about us leaving. More's a pity, thank you. Right, so what's the answer then? We're going to have to call a truce before the court case, right? Which will win. And pigs will fly. No, not another word. No, Audrey, no, please, I'm... Lewis, honestly, I cannot be doing with any more stress. <clears throat> Oof. Anyway, now, uh, this is how it's going to work. Uh, until we go to court, David, you will find your own clients, and I shall just have all the existing ones. Like we want them anyway. Yeah, and Maria, you'll work with me. Right. Fine by us. And me? Oh, hi, Mrs. Haverswade. Yes, you're 12.30. OK. Maria, would you do the honours? Mm. With pleasure. Come with me. I believe that's 1-0. 11 minutes on hold. I'm gonna kill someone. I can think of a few possible candidates. You're not seriously gonna let this get to court, are you? Look, Gran gave this salon to me, right? I didn't ask for it, she gave it. Yeah, in error, David. Well, that's her problem, not ours. Oh, hi. Yeah, um, I, I had a massage chair that was booked in for delivery today. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cancel. It... Sorry, and um, there's been a mix-up. Yeah, yeah, we're good to go. Thanks. What are you doing? Not losing my bottle. You've read a solicitor's letter, though, haven't you? Stuff the solicitor and stuff Audrey. We're in the right here. No retreat, no surrender. <clears throat> yeah, OK. And that is why I love him. Blimey. It's a bit big, isn't it? It's all part of the experience. Hunters won't know what's hit them. So how much are we going to jack the prices up, then? At least 20%. ka -ching. I'm going to offer the full pampering package. Hands, feet, scalp, followed by a full body stretch. Body stretch? Yeah, it's one of the programmes. It also does shiatsu, kneading, rolling and floating. Mm -hmm. Trans your test drive after closing. Mm, you had me at shiatsu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you up? Perfect timing. What on earth's that? The massage chair, we thought we'd diversify. No, 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 oh, no, I am not having that thing in my salon. It's my salon. No. You can take that back. You can take it inside. You set foot on those premises and you're breaking the law. Don't listen to him. I am deadly serious. What are you doing? Oi! Sorry, mate. Check it out with my gaffer. Oh. What? I believe that's 2 0. You can't stop us from making changes. Yeah, the rules okay, of an injunction are Thanks. quite clear. Right, that was another cancellation. You know you are ruining my business. Mm. It's his business! Hey, what's going on in here? You're not halfway down yes, the street. Your son and his wife are attempting to break the law. Oh, put a sock in it already. Don't you dare talk to him like that, lady. Granny's making a fool out of you. He's just playing us against each oh, other. Oh, please. Well, he does have a point. Don't just change the record, girl, please. Well, he hadn't come <laughs> sniffing around. None of this would have happened. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and Audrey would have been hung out to dry by your precious son. You have the gall to lecture me after everything you've done. Which I atone for, absolutely. Because you saw a chance at the jackpot. Mm. Yeah. Do you think he'd look twice at you if you weren't minted? How dare you? You're the only gold digger around here, you little trollop. <gasps> what did you say? No, that is enough. Just because you're no know man, you know, doesn't mean I won't give you a slap. Well, I mean, you need to do this for some time. Oh, that is enough, <laughs> please. You better go, Louis, till things have calmed down. Ah. Ah. Audrey? Ah. Ma'am? Ma'am? Mm. David, what's happening? Look, someone call an ambulance. Oh. Go on. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Um, it's going to be all right. Oh. It's going to be all right. Oh. Ambulance, please. <laughs> well, I think my grand's having an heart attack. Uh. <laughs> Just try and stay calm. 
can't. They're here. What's her name? Audrey. Audrey? Can you hear me? Will you ring Nick? Tell him what's happened. Yeah, in a minute. It's me all over, isn't it? Getting carried away with my big ideas. You're enthusiastic. Now, is that a bad thing? Why not come back to your... Treat you to a takeaway. You put your feet up. Relax. Glass of wine. Go on, then. Why not? She's gonna be all right, isn't she? Get out of the way, baby. You best just leave me to it, yeah? What happened? She's a bastard. Who wants to come with her? Well, I don't think so. You can't tell me what to do. You're not even family. It was your fault. Mum, tell him. Back off, baby. The last person Graham wants to see. Okay, you all. Just tell Audrey not to worry about work. I'll sort everything with the salon. Thanks. Yeah, she'll be right. She's tough as all the boots. It's Audrey. You two have done this. You pushed and pushed her. She was just as bad. Leave it. Just say it. Well done. You do. What do you think? Get out. Just ring me, yeah? Or text. You know, if you don't want to speak to me, then text. I just want to know if she's all right. We've still not heard out. I won't speak to me. The phones will be switched off. Hiya, mate. Got your tea? Yeah. But you go upstairs and play. I'll be up in a minute, yeah? I did this to her. Me. Babe, I know you're worried. Put I me am on gonna... Grant in hospital. It's not your fault. <sighs> we hounded her, Kylie. We made her life a total mess. But it's like you said, you were just as bad. Look, I don't care about the... Flipping salon, all right? It doesn't matter. I just want my gram back. <sighs> what if she dies? What am I gonna do? She won't. What if she does, though? I'd have murdered her. Oh, David, for God's sake, get a grip. What, my mum will never forgive me. And I'll tell you something else and all. I'll never forgive myself. <laughs> 